May the Lord bless and keep you. Let me say something. And I lied about something, so listen close. Maybe two or three weeks ago, I called this company about something. And I was telling a person there something that I thought was going to happen when I was not 100% sure. But I was saying it in a way where I was sure. But I was not sure. And let me say this too, it actually happened, but at that time, I was not sure that it was going to happen. So after the call ended, I started to feel this feeling, Kevin, you lied. And I was thinking, I don't think so. But that feeling kept on coming to me more and more. Kevin, you lied. So I was feeling that I needed to fix this. So I called back and I was telling the person there, this is what happened and stuff like that. And the person there said to me that everything is okay. But still, I was still feeling bad about it. So I called a third time <laughs> and explained things. The person told me that, Kevin, you don't have to call here again about that issue. <laughs> So I was still feeling bad about it. So I drove down to that company and I was talking with a person there. And that person was pretty much saying the same thing as everyone else, but I kept on pressing on. So she went and got her supervisor and I was talking to her supervisor. And then her supervisor was saying the same thing to me. Everything is fine, pretty much. But I was saying to her, no, everything, <laughs> I want to fix this. I am feeling bad about this pretty much. And she told me, Kevin, in so many words, she told me, no one ever came to us saying the things that you are saying now and then we both laughed at the same time pretty much because <laughs> it was funny but at the same time I was serious so after that I drove off and I did not feel that guilt anymore what is your point, Kevin? Okay. No matter how large or small a sin is, a sin is a sin. There is no such thing as 
a little white lie or a small lie or whatever you call it. A lie is a lie. When you lie, you have to repent of it. And I may have repented of that back then, maybe five times. Because let me say this. When you get closer to God, the small things are going to matter much. So if the small things for you is like, it is not a big deal, <laughs> chances are you are either lukewarm or you are not close with God. Because to even sin a tiny bit is really going to irritate you or it is not a good feeling. Not at all. Anyways, let me get to my point. Some people say that they love God and I see comments and emails. Kevin, I can't stop sinning, but I love God. And I am thinking, do you know what you are saying? I believe, let me say this. Uh, I believe when some popular preachers or pastors say things, even though it makes no sense, if it fits some people, some people are going to adopt that saying and use that excuse to continue on doing what they are doing, even though it makes no sense. Kevin, I can't stop sinning, but I love God. If you read what the Bible says, then you are going to know that makes no sense. Let me say this too. Like when I see that, I am like, what are you saying? Back when I was a kid, until the age of 18, my mom would force me to go to church with her. And I hated church so much. There were times for a very long time where we would go to church three times a week. And on some days, I believe it was on Sunday, there were times when we would go to church at 8.30 or something like that and stay at church until like 3 or 4 p.m. <laughs> Why in the world do you need to stay at church for that long? Are you serious? And there were many weeks where the pastor would talk about the same things almost every Sunday. And I am thinking, if you really don't have anything else to teach on, let us go early. Let us go early. Why stay? I'm a kid back then. And you expect me to sit down and listen to you for all those hours, my Lord. So I hated church with a passion back then, with a very strong passion. And 
from 19 to 21, I may have went to church <laughs> like less than 10 times. And I forget the times, but maybe years later, I was going back to church again, maybe once or twice a week, but not nearly as long as before. But even when I would go to church, I would still sin as much as always. So I was just a sinning church person. <laughs> There were times when I would fornicate before I went to church, like minutes before we went to church. So in these examples, can you say that I could have said that I loved God? No. Even though I was going to church so much, I was sinning as much as always, pretty much. So how can I say that I loved God back then when my life did not reflect it? By knowing God, by saying that he is the true God means nothing. If I am still in sin, sinning as much as usual. So how can you send me comments or emails, Kevin, I love God, but I am sinning as much as I am. So by knowing God, by knowing that there is a God, that makes you love God. What if you are married? This is really going to make sense here. What if you plan on getting married? Let's say that you tell your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your wife, or husband that you love them but you only say it in words but not show anything proving it <laughs> my lord how can you say that Kevin I love you or you were telling your wife or husband that you love them. But you are not showing anything to prove it. You are saying it only by word. If you are not showing anything to prove it, how can you say that you love that person? By saying, I love you to a person means nothing. If you are not showing any actions or anything to prove it, your words are empty. I pray that this makes sense. How can you say that you love me? I love you, Kevin. But you aren't showing me anything to prove it. Your actions are the same. The way you treat me is the same. But you are not showing me anything to prove that you love me or that you love your wife or husband. Saying the word alone means nothing. Anyone can say words. I can say that I am a very rich man but <laughs> it doesn't make it true. I can say that I have 20 toes. It doesn't make it true. 
I can say that I have five arms, but it doesn't make it true. You will need proof of what I say. If you don't see proof, then what I am saying is a lie. So how can you say that you love God, but still live the same type of life? Let's go to 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. I could stop there, but let me continue. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. He that committeth sin is of the devil. <laughs> Let me stop here. No. For the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. So, this is why I can't stand when I see things Kevin, I am still in sin, but I love God. What? That is not true. This is saying that when you sin, you are of the devil. You are of Satan, not of God. How can you say that you are of the devil, but you love God? Do Satan love God? No. Why? Because what he is doing is proving to us that he hates God. So when your actions show that you don't love God, how can you say that you do love God? When your actions are showing that you don't love God, how can you tell your wife or husband, boyfriend or girlfriend, that you love them when your actions are showing that you don't? Empty words. Let's continue. For the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. So, in so many words, when you sin, you are against God. When you sin, <laughs> pretty much you are working for Satan when you are sinning you are working for Satan Kevin God knows my heart yes he does he knows that you are working for Satan he knows your wicked heart so stop using that silly excuse to continue on and sin because it is not working. And let's go to John chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Okay, so by showing, so how can you show that you love God? <laughs> by keeping his commandments. So you have to back up actions with your words. You can't just say random things and not be able to prove it. You can see that I love God. Why? Because I serve God. I follow his commandments. So let me stop here. God bless you. If this video have helped you in any way, make sure you share it and subscribe. God bless you.